Well, salut, salut. Uh, I hope we are all doing well in the group and we are ready for the workshop. As I said earlier, today we are going to have a workshop for you, my dear French teachers, on the new curriculum for French. Okay, so this new curriculum that was published uh, by the Minister of Education through NACA, that is the National Curriculum and Assessment Division of the GES of the Ghana Education Service. Okay, so this curriculum is named the CCP, the Common Core Program. So we are going to go through the Common Core Program, why it was, it was initiated, its organization, how you are going to use it in the classroom, and then uh, the assessments, how to write a lesson plan, scheme of work, and everything on the new curriculum. I'm not going to waste your time too much. I'll go straight to the point for us to learn something great. So after this video, you will be able to easily use the new curriculum for French with ease, even without any external help. I'm your facilitator, Elvis Fiati. Uh, me, as Elvis Fiati, I'm the CEO of the French Master GH brand. Uh, I own a website called thefrenchmastergh.com. I'm on YouTube as the French Master GH. I'm on Facebook, TikTok, Telegram, everywhere. Twitter, Instagram as the French Master GH. So you can follow me there on all those social media platforms. Okay, to get updated uh items on the teaching and learning of french so let's go straight to the point so why a new curriculum we all agree that um, there was a curriculum or a syllabus for french which we were using so many of us will be wondering why the government decided to 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 change the curriculum or the the old syllabus to a new curriculum uh, probably someone will say or oh, maybe they would need to squander some money no, no 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 so let's take this out of politics there is something happening that change has to come this change is a change in the curriculum okay or the syllabus the old syllabus is focusing on the written aspects we call it la production écrite and then the reading aspects uh, that is la compréhension écrite so la compétence écrite uh, sont développées dans les élèves okay the the, the written uh, aspect is more stretched on than the oral aspect but we all know that uh, when you go to a country where they speak french the first thing you will need is the speech. How to communicate with the people uh, will be the first thing you'll be, you'll be required to do. Uh, I believe when you get to Togo, you want to buy something, you quickly have to communicate with the people in French. When you go to Côte d'Ivoire, the same thing. So as Ghanaians, we are surrounded by French-speaking countries. It would be very good for the student to learn things that are realistic not only focusing on passing exams and knowing how to write and read french without knowing how to speak the language so this new curriculum has to come in to cover all the four r's the four r i mean uh, by the four r i mean uh, reading writing listening and speaking okay the four major skills in learning a language. We must also remember that French, uh, French itself is a foreign language here in Ghana. So a foreign language is taught in a different way than French as a second language. Okay, so let's move on. So now that we know there is a new curriculum that was published by NACA, uh, through the Minister of Education and the Ghana Service, Ghana Education Service. What is the scope of the new curriculum? Well, 
if I say scope, scope is scope is a limitation, like it's limited to what? You can't just say you uh, there is a curriculum and everything can be taught. You can't enter the classroom and just be teaching anything at all. Or you enter just any class, you go to KG and be teaching a particular topic. No, so there is a scope for this new curriculum. So this scope, uh, I've subdivided it into four parts. Okay, the first scope is the uh, classes. The new curriculum we are talking about here is a common core program. The classes that it covers are basic seven, basic eight, and basic nine for now. Okay, basic seven, eight, and nine. So these were formerly uh, called junior high one, JHS two, JHS three. So now basic seven, basic eight, and basic nine. So that is a scope. So you can use the CCP in upper primary or lower primary or kindergarten. You can go to senior high school and be using the CCP. So it's a scope, it's limited to those classes. Good. The next scope here is the skills or competencies. It's also every substrand, every topic is limited to four competencies or four skills, four major skills. And these skills are comprehension oral, production oral, comprehension écrite, and then production écrite. The comprehension oral is what we term as listening skills. Production oral is speaking skills. Comprehension écrite is the reading skills, lecture. And then production écrite is writing skills, that is l'écriture. So those are the four skills or competencies that the curriculum covers. Now we move to the teaching approach. The curriculum is limited to the uh, l'approche actionnelle. L'approche actionnelle. Approche actionnelle um, is a kind of uh, approach that will involve the kids more. It's a tax-based approach where the learners are to be doing activities. Okay, they are to they are to focus on doing something that will urge them to speak the language, to listen to the language and understand the language, to be able to read the language and write the language. Then we come to the learning approach. What you said first was a teaching approach. So it concerns the teacher. That's the method you are going to use. Then we come to the learning approach. The learning approach is what, how the child is going to learn. Okay, how the, the teacher is going to teach is the teaching approach. How the learner is going to learn is the learning approach. So the child is going to learn on tax-based approaches. Okay, so learners here, they need to carry out tax that will help them develop the four hours. That is the comprehension oral, production oral, comprehension écrite, production écrite. So example of uh, these tax-based approaches, uh, or examples of activities that they, they will have to be engaging themselves on uh, uh, are the following, okay? Like short announcements in French. They are to do listening of French. They, they, they will listen to French songs and music, telling simple stories in French, games, role plays, uh, debates, uh, language games, uh, among simulation among others. Now we move to the organization of the new curriculum. You know, as a document, it has to be organized. When we see every document, you see the contents page. Uh, uh, you see a page where the the whole document is organized into chapters or into pages, and then there are references there. So I mean by the organization of the new curriculum that the Common Core program is organized into parts, okay? That needs to be identified by the teacher to be able to easily uh, teach the curriculum or teach using the curriculum. So the first thing, the first uh, section is 
it's organized into is the strands the strands a strand we normally in the old syllabus we call it a unit okay unit one uh or we call it section rather okay sections okay we have sections and then units so the sections are now the strands so you have the strands example of a strand is fair connaissance fair connaissance okay we have a lot of them in the in the curriculum which we cover in the as, as we move on okay so the curriculum is subdivided into strands which we formally refer to as sections okay we have substrands substrands here are the units we used to refer to in the old uh, syllabus so they are directly the topics they are going to cover so a substrand is the topic you are going to teach okay example of of a substrand is saluer prendre congé saluer et prendre congé in the curriculum it's also section into content standards content standards content standard here refers to the skills the skills or the competencies you are going to develop in the children so as i said earlier we have comprehension oral comprehension uh, écrite production oral production écrite so automatically we have four content content standards so as a teacher for you to teach you are going to teach two content standards at a time i hope i'm i'm i'm, I'm getting it uh I, I hope i'm clear i'm clear on this okay so we have four content standards one two three and four you teach two and then later you teach the other two on the same substrate okay let's move i'll explain better when as we move on it's also organized into performance indicators you also have performance indicators so these performance indicators that we are talking about are learning activities okay activities or they are kind of objective based uh, statements that you are going to draft your activities on okay so it's like by the end of the lesson you are going to achieve this you want the student to be able to do this so what are the activities that will be under that indicators uh, uh, okay so we have a performance the child should be able to do this okay so there are a list of activities under that with particular performance indicator for a child to to do to be able to uh, to perform that particular task or activity or that skill that content standard to show good so all these are used to form a curriculum reference number these four things that i mentioned the strands substrand content standard and then indicators they are used to form the curriculum reference number uh, what is curriculum reference number you know for you to be very specific in your lesson notes you need to refer to a particular item of the curriculum that you are going to use to teach that particular lesson so this number is going to identify or is going to make it very easy for someone who is going to supervise you to go to the curriculum straight and get that particular number and then see whether what you you've written in your lesson notes is, is right or wrong okay so example of uh, of a uh, of a curriculum reference number is b71211 b71211 this means that the lesson the particular lesson you are going to teach is for is from basic is for basic seven pupils and then you take you took that lesson from strand one and then you took the the, the second sub strand and then you are teaching the first content standard which is comprehension oral and then you are you are dealing with the first indicator the first activity so the person can go to the curriculum and check and see if what you've quoted there and what you've written tallies with the curriculum 
it goes in line with the curriculum okay let's move on we are still on the organization of the of the curriculum so basic seven is made up of five strands and 16 substrands basic seven is made up of five strands and 16 substrands so formally we will say five sections and then 16 units now it's a five strand and 16 substrands basic eight is made up of seven strands and 14 substrands basic nine is made up of nine strands and 12 substrands okay now we move to how we are going to teach the various skills or competencies or like competence okay so we take them one after the other so i'm going to start with i, I said earlier that we have four of them okay which i mentioned already so let's start with the comprehension oral which is the listening so la comprehension oral is referred to in english as listening skills as listening skills to develop this skill in your learners you need to do the following mm -hmm. these are the things you are going to do first of all you need to play an audio or a video related to the french lesson of the day if you are teaching salué prendre congé your video should be related to salué et prendre congé or your audio should be related to it secondly you are going to ask them few questions in English about the video or audio to test their understanding of the material. Good. This place is very important. You are learning French as a foreign language. You start speaking French to the student, blah, 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 and then they don't understand. Then you say they are not intelligent. Okay. Or they don't pay attention. Play the video or the audio for them just once. Okay. And then. Uh, it's it's even advisable you give them the questions first okay okay i'm going to ask you these questions and i'm going to play this video watch the video carefully and answer these questions for me that's the best way to do it so this one will make the children to pay more attention to the video because they are looking for answers to the, the questions you ask them but if you don't ask them the questions prior to uh, the, playing the video, they will just be enjoying the video. They are not looking for anything specific. Okay, so we are also learning from the known to unknown. They know the English. They are learning the French as the unknown. That's why my first soft set of questions, even in my book, Mon Ami, the first set of questions are in English. And activity two, the set of questions are in French. On the same distance but they are not translated they are different set of questions or to help the child understand the video okay so the first sort of questions and you have to make the questions to be to be simple simple complex 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 so you are learning from the simple to the complex so the whole curriculum is based on this para approach even you see that class four we have salut plan congé Class five, you have the same salut plan congé. Class six, you have salut plan congé. JHS one, you have salut plan congé. But the level of difficulty is different. That's what we call the spara approach. It's like a mosquito coil. Okay, how the mosquito coil is, is from the small, 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 small moving out like that. So your questions will also be like that. So the assessment is very, very, very important. If not, You'll be teaching the students what <laughs> is not at their level okay good <clears throat> so uh one day once they are able to uh, to answer these some few questions okay normally they need to know you need to ask them the number of people that are in the in the video or in the audio uh, what they think they are doing and then some other few questions okay uh Thirdly, you need to play the video twice or thrice and guide them to orally answer questions on the material in French. Now in what? In French. No more in English. The English questions should be just be few. One or two questions. One, two, three questions. It's okay. But the French questions should be more. Okay. So that one too. Ask them the questions first. 
when you think that the question is so complex, you can add gestures to the question, as in the questions, and then play the video again for them to look for the answers to those questions. Don't just play the video for them, as in the questions first. It's part of the method. Okay. Now you need to know that these questions should be either QCM, which we call question à choix multiple, that is uh, questions with A, B, C, D, where you have options to choose. Uh, VF, VF is vrai ou faux, okay? Yes or no questions. Or RC, eh? uh, RC is like short answers, short answers short answer uh, questions so it shouldn't be something that they are going to write uh, no 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 questions that they are going to answer orally and should provide options for them good now we move to production oral production oral la production oral is referred to in english as speaking skills so to develop the uh, for you to develop these skills in your learners, you need to do the following. First, you need to help them repeat keywords after you. These keywords must be selected from the list of words suggested by the curriculum. Don't go and choose your own words because you feel maybe you can speak French fluently or you can use the internet, so you go and use no. So there was research before the curriculum was, was made. So these keywords will help them learn French as debutant. They are learning French as a foreign language too. So these keywords will help them a lot. So for you to, because you are going to use these keywords throughout the lesson, they need to know the right way to pronounce them. For instance, some of them will see bonjour and say bonjour, which is not their fault. Maybe it's from their the language they speak has an effect on on their pronunciation so you need to correctly drill it with them drilling yes that's the right word drill with them bonjour 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 bonsoir ça va bien oui très bien au revoir à bientôt à plus tard uh, à demain you, you know uh -huh. so you need to get them to to drill the keywords with you, they repeat after you. Now, you also need to play language games that will urge them, uh, urge them to orally use these words in situations or sentences. Eh? Like, now, you need to draft activities that will help them to use those keywords they repeated after you, okay? Orally, not just mention the keywords only, but use them in scenarios, in situations, or in sentences. So not just isolating the keywords and using them. So whilst they are using them in situations, sentences, or scenarios, they are getting to know different meanings of that particular word. Okay, a word can have different meanings depending on situation. So they'll use them. Uh, some of the activities you can do here is jeu de rôle and role play. Or je de de me, I use this a lot. The students they like they like games. Your classroom should not be um too strict. Hmm? It should be moody. It, it, it should be lively. It should be particip uh, participatory. It should it should be inviting. That the learners ah, do you, do you, you know if if you if you come to the classroom you you bring Ludo dice and then. The, the the yeah the ludo game into the classroom and you have you want them to play and learn use it to learn french do you think they will not participate they will participate par so jeu de dé uh, jeu linguistique uh, a whole lot of a whole lot of uh, activities i have a host of them on my new book the french uh, mon ami uh, they will be coming out soon okay you can also help them to identify uh, pictures to call their names out in French. Uh, let's say you are teaching about um, le temps et les saisons, okay? Why not display pictures of maybe il neige, il pleut, uh, il fait beau, um, yeah, il fait froid, 
someone who is holding himself or herself like the person is feeling cold okay let them identify those pictures read out or say whatever is happening in the picture okay so that's prediction oral now we move to comprehension écrit. i hope you are not tired okay this is very important uh comprehension écrit. la comprehension écrit is referred to in english as reading skills okay as reading skills uh, reading skills here you are what you are talking about here is that you are going to develop these skills in your learners uh, by doing the following things first you need to guide them to read a passage that is the same as or closely related to the video or audio you use in comprehension oral i'll take this again in a simple plain language the video or the audio you use in comprehension oral for listening okay your passage should be closely related to it or should be the same as that that, that particular audio or video i mean the transcription mm -hmm. so it will make it very easy for them to read so they've heard it or they've watched it they'll read about it okay so allow them to do a silent reading for at least five minutes very important the last time i was in a, on a supervision and i realized that a french teacher wasn't using the silent reading reading method it's very very important not the student they have uh their own way of pronouncing some words allow them pronounce it to pronounce it in their minds before you read out to them okay then you now read out to them then you allow volunteers to also read uh, they can read in turns, like not only one person to read. With the new curriculum, uh, the new curriculum advises that you should use dialogues, eh? a passage that is a dialogue or a short story, a presentation or something. If it's a dialogue, two people or three people, the characters, you should get characters, uh, le personnage, okay, you test, so that they read their parts. And that will be very engaging. You now guide them to orally answer the questions on the french uh, passage okay now we move to the fourth aspect which is um not aspect actually the fourth skill which is la production écrit. la production écrit is referred to in english as writing skills okay writing skills so to develop these skills in your learners you need to do the following first you need to guide them to do series of writing activities in french okay note that dicte i repeat dicte is a mandatory writing activity in the common core program you need to get a short passage using the keywords they've already used in the previous parts of the lesson and dictate it for them to write down a short passage containing um some of the keywords okay used in the past in the previous part already so you dictate for them they write down so you see in monami we have dicte where i have a podcast i've made the work so easy for you so you the french teacher you only play the podcast for the student to listen to and write down in the book okay uh so the third aspect here is that you need to engage them with writing exercises ranging from matching filling the gaps uh, short essays etc etc you need to also add projects okay projects for them to go into the community speak the language do research do a lot of things the new curriculum actually doesn't encourage the child to be lazy okay when the child is at school he will learn when he or she is, is in the house he has to learn in real life okay good so kindly note that you are to teach each substrand two times and i said earlier that the substrand is what is the topic you are going to teach like salue prendre congé or se présenter or présenter quelqu'un so when you take a topic or a substrand you are going to teach it two times so your first session your first meeting with them you must focus on comprehension oral and production oral 
So your second meeting with them or your second class meeting, you should focus on comprehension écrite and then production écrite. Now, with all these, we need to, before you teach, you need to plan your lesson. Your lesson plan is very, 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 very important. So in this uh, workshop, we are going to learn how to easily and correctly write your lesson plan without even any other person helping you. Okay. So what is a lesson plan? Lesson plan is just a plan of activities and a plan of activities that you yourself you intend to do, right? And this activity will break down the learning topic. The learning topic here is a substrate you are going to teach. Okay, into teachable units. You know that when you take se présenter, okay, which is a topic, you need to teach the teachable units. Teachable unit here refers to the content standards. You are going to teach two content standards, which is a teachable unit. Mm -hmm. Like comprehension oral and production oral, there are activities for them. Then you've broken it into units, right? So you have four units, you teach two units, and then the next meeting you teach, teach other units. So that's what basically a lesson plan is about. We are still on how to write the lesson plan. So here is a sample of a scheme of work and the lesson plan of the new curriculum. A scheme of work, uh, as for that one, is like the, the list of topics you are going to teach in the term, okay? So the scheme of work can be on termly basis, okay? Or annual scheme of work. So termly and then weekly, okay? So normally we, we do the weekly scheme of work that will give us uh, the scheme of work for the term. Now, let's look at a uh, example here. Good. So this is uh, a scheme of work from the thefrenchmassages.com. That's my website. So kudos and thank you so much to those who are purchasing my website just to support the brand. Um, I'm going to reduce the cost drastically and change the process as well to make it a customized web, uh, this lesson plan for all of you. And uh, so if you are not part of the WhatsApp group, the French Master Club, Kindly request, I'll put the link uh, in the group soon so that you just click on it and join. So once the lesson plans are ready, I'll publish them there. It will come with scheme of work. You purchase are just at a fee. Okay, I'll also add end of term exam questions for free. So we are going to do all of that. So let's go, let's get back to our, our learning. <clears throat> so this is the first term scheme of work for basic seven and eight 2023 so you see that the first column i have the week okay you know the first time we have 12 weeks so we have week one week two week three week four up to week 12. the second column contains the strands you are going to tackle in the various weeks the third column contains the substrand you are going to tackle and then followed by the content standards and followed by the indicators. So you see that the four major aspects of the curriculum organization up here. I said earlier that the curriculum is organized into strands, substrands, content standard and indicators. So those are the things you are going to use to, to prepare your scheme of work. So when we come to, let's say week one, uh, you have to do revision because it's a new academic year. You revise some of them, they've eaten a plan with or banku with whatever you taught them last year. Uh, it's not their fault to the parents or engage them. Uh, they don't have extra tuition, so they might forget. So you need to revise and revive their brain for learning. So the second week, you see in the week's column, you have week two. The strand there is strand one fair connaissance the substrand there is also uh is salué et prendre congé so you have the content standard and the indicators the content standard the first if the first week you are going to teach one 
that's basic seven one 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 so basic seven strand one substrand one and then content standard one i hope you are getting me okay so that's the content standard one like that okay so it goes on and on and on and on like that i'll leave the sample uh, in the group i will leave a sample in the group uh, just after the training okay so now that we have our scheme of work we can now use our scheme of work to prepare our daily lesson plans okay our lesson plans that we are going to use to teach our lessons so without a scheme of work it's not yet organized the scheme of work must be there now you know that week one i have to teach this particular topic now i use that topic and break it into teachable units to able to be able to to teach well so that is here is a sample a sample here you have the subject which is francais the class is basic seven the strand is here strand one fair connaissance uh, we are dealing with them two week one then our sub strand here is salué et prendre congé the week ending that's a friday's date the week two endings uh, it ends on the 20th january 2023 so that's the friday dates of that week you need to also state the dates uh, of that particular lesson the time the class size and then your period uh -huh. so it's period two periods you can decide to use two uh, 30 minutes or 60 minutes actually depends on uh, the arrangement in the school now we move to the first column here which is the content standard the content standard we are dealing with here as like our first meeting the content standard here is understanding and expressing greetings as well as saying goodbye see you soon etc so understanding and expressing greetings mm -hmm. understanding greetings is listening right the expressing greeting as well as saying goodbye is is speaking so we have indicators for them the first indicator is to help the child to that's b71111 the child is to be able to listen understand and react to a conversation in french about two or more people who are greeting or saying goodbye the second indicator says that the child should be able to exchange greetings with someone or say goodbye to him or her in french so i told you earlier on that uh, with the the indicators it's like objectives for the student to follow uh, that those are the things that a child should be able to do at the end of the lesson and they are based on the performance indicator so we move straight to the performance indicator here yeah, the performance indicator says that la prenant sera capable de saluer et prendre congé peut distinguer entre l'usage de tu et vous i'll take it again la prenant sera capable de saluer et prendre congé peut distinguer entre l'usage de tu et vous the the child is to be able to 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 greet and say goodbye as well as distinguish between the use of tu and vous in french so in the previous classes they learned this same topics but this one was not included so if the video you play to them does not show that distinct that distinction between the use of uh, tu and vous or when to use these two you should know that the material you are using is not up to standard and in mon ami this is covered okay the competencies the core competencies that's general for all the subjects is communication cultural identity go global citizenship personal development leadership and digital literacy so you have to use at least uh, an it material in teaching them the key words or expressions here we have bonjour bonsoir salut coucou comment tu ça va ça va mal ça va comme si comme ça au revoir à bientôt blah, blah, blah. there are more of them okay so now we come to the teaching itself hmm? you have to first of all divide the period available to you 
into three parts. The first part is called, which we call the phase one. Uh, so if you are using 60 minutes, you use 10 minutes for phase one, 20 minutes for uh, 40 minutes for uh, phase two, and then another 10 minutes for phase three. What is phase one about? The phase one here is for you to prepare the brain for learning. You need to prepare their brain for learning. So let's see the learning activity that corresponds to this about this particular substance. Ici, l'enseignant joue une vidéo aux apprenants et il les, il les aide à s'engager dans la langue à partir des activités. Exemple de vidéo, mon ami 7 video 1 de frenchmassages.com. So here the, the, the child or the learner is to is is to watch a video. Eh? So you the teacher you have to play a video for the uh, for the learner to watch and also engage in activities like question and answer and all of that. The resources you are going to use here can be Bluetooth speaker, smartphone, laptop, flash drive. Flash drive is pen drive. Okay. Uh, the same and all of that. It can be a picture that they will talk about. Uh, that depends. Okay. Now we come to phase two, which is the new learning, including assessment. The phase two, which is 40 minutes, new learning. What they are going to learn now today. Okay. So first, l'enseignant. Okay. So at the phase one, two, you can also sing a song. You can also sing a song. Uh, that contains some few words that are related to the topic of the day. Let's say you want to teach about décrire quelqu'un, and then you know décrire quelqu'un, you have la tête, le, les yeux, et choses, blah, 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 blah. You can, you can, you can sing this song. Tête pour le jambe pied, jambe pied. Tête pour le jambe pied. So at the end, they, they've learned something that is related to the topic of the day. Or oh, this particular topic and say, Bonjour, mes amis, comment ça va? Bonjour, mes amis, comment ça va? So, Bonjour is there, comment ça va? Uh, there are keywords. So, it's not necessarily the video. Okay. So, you go to the main activities. That's a new learning, including assessment. So, l'enseignant joue mon ami video one, mon ami seven video one aux apprenants pour deux fois et il regarde ou écoute attentivement. Tout, l'enseignant doit guider les élèves à répondre aux questions sur la vidéo oralement. Mon ami, 7 page 6. So, when, whenever you are writing an activity, whichever book you are quoting, you must quote the page. That's how you write a lesson plan. A lesson plan should be scanty. When you are not there, no one can use it to teach. And when a supervisor comes, the supervisor will be confused. You quote books that are not in existence. You quote books that are not up to standard. And they, they don't follow the trend very well. That will worry. And it will help you when you do the right thing. So, number three. Eh, L'enseignant aide les élèves à répéter les mots clés après lui. Exemple, bonjour. Activity four. Jeu de rôle. Les élèves se saluent et prennent congé en suivant l'exemple dans la vidéo. Et référence, c'est mon ami 7, page 7. Activity 5. En suivant l'exemple du prof, les élèves se saluent et prennent congé. Meaning, you are going to demonstrate and then they also use your demonstration as an example and they follow it and do it themselves. So those are activities for the new learning. Now assessments. Les élèves parlent de différentes manières de saluer. That is where you guide them about the virtue, where they meet someone uh, who is their friend. They will say, uh, bonjour, bonjour Kofi, comment tu vas? When they meet their teacher or someone older than them, someone they don't know, bonjour, comment vous vous portez? Eh? So they, they distinguish the, between vous and tu. Now we go to phase three, which is plenary and reflection. Plenary and reflection, 10 minutes. Et l'enseignant demande aux apprenants de se saluer 
dans des différentes situations de la vie réelle. Ok. So, here they are to, to do a plenary. Ok. Kind of uh, thinking outside the box and reflecting on the new learning. So, you guide them, you put them into groups. For instance, just an example, it depends on how you are going to use. But in Monami, all these things are well explained. It's very clear on how, what to do. So, you can put them into, okay, so you, the two of you, you are from the market. Eh? You met in the market. You guys, you met in a boutique. You guys, you are, you are in a school. You guys, you met on the way to the farm. Okay, so greet each other. Okay, or maybe you, you met your teacher when going to school. You, you met your grandfather uh, when going to the village, something like that. Okay, so we move to independent activity or homework. That is what they are going to do at home. So what they are going to do at home is not always the homework only. Sometimes homework, you add a project. Now let's see what is here. L'enseignant demande aux élèves de saluer au moins cinq personnes dans les différentes situations et moments de la journée pour donner un compte rendu à la classe après. L'enseignant, I'll take it again, okay? L'enseignant demande aux élèves de saluer au moins cinq personnes dans les différentes situations et moments de la journée puis donner un compte rendu à la classe après. So, the, the teacher asks the students to go uh, greet people in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, okay, and then come back the next day and give um, a, a report, a, a report, sorry, a report about how they greeted. Okay, so you, when you met, how many people did you greet? Five people. When you met uh, the person in the morning, how did you greet the person? When you met another person in the afternoon, how did you greet the person in the evening? Uh -huh. So how do you ask the person, how are you doing? Is he, comment tu vas ou bien, comment vous allez? Okay. So that's it about the lesson plan. Thank you so much for sticking 